With the release of Mary Dale's Couch and Origin, we are so excited to present to you your own Origin cocktail box. Today we will be making two cocktails. The first is the Aura Gin and Tonic. In a mixing glass with ice and a strainer, pour off the excess water. You do not want it diluting your cocktail. Then pour it into a highball glass. You are then going to take a bottle of the provided Fever Tree Tonic and pour five ounces in your glass over the ice. Then taking a fresh lemon, squeeze the juice into your tonic. Be sure to remove the seeds or do this over a strainer. Fresh citrus juice is essential to that beautiful transformation in color. We are then going to add our dried or fresh lemon oil as a barrier between the gin and the tonic. Using a shot glass, we are going to measure out 1.5 ounces of the couch and origin. You can pour this over the back of the spoon, but the lemon should be enough of a barrier to keep it suspended over the tonic. Our color is produced from a combination of lavender, hibiscus, and Thai butterfly flowers and transforms from a beautiful violet to a beautiful pink as the pH changes. Whether you are crafting this GT for something special, gathering with friends, or simply treating yourself, this will delight your senses. Enjoy! Next, we are making our version of Martini, called the Blue Teeny. In a mixing glass with ice, you are going to use a shot glass and measure out two ounces of the origin. You are then going to take your blue vermouth and add half an ounce into the glass. The blueberry vermouth is house distilled and available exclusively in this box. That means you have one of the few bottles to ever be distributed. Then take a mixing spoon and mix the contents for 30 seconds. This will chill your cocktail. Once you're finished stirring, you are going to get your strainer, put it onto your mixed contents, and pour it into the martini glass. The glass that got its namesake because the cocktail was so popular. You are nearly finished. The last step is to garnish your blue teeny with a dried lemon wheel. Or if you're feeling a little bit adventurous, you can use a fresh lemon twist. Enjoy!